So today is the day I'm offering that car for sale. This is a 2020 Tesla Model Y Performance. A lot of extras on there. So in this video, I'm gonna explain everything that's on the car, what the price is of the car, and uh, if you're interested, how to get a hold of me. Uh, I'm in North Carolina, just north of Charlotte, North Carolina, and again, this is a 2020 Model Y Performance black interior it's actually gray underneath that vinyl wrap and ppf as well with 53,000 miles on it priced at 45 grand let me go over all the options on it let's start with the outside and plus i have all the stock stuff up here uh for you whoever buys the car plus extras i got extra screens and all sorts of stuff up there uh that works with that car uh so i probably have this is before I'm doing all the research, but I probably have about $25,000, $30,000 worth of extras on that car. Whoever buys this car gets everything, take it all. A Model Y performance with the miles of 2020 is going for right around forty dollars to $45,000. I have all these extras I'm including at that $45,000 price range. Brand new wheels and tires from Martian Wheels, and then I have some uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. They're, they're 20 inch wheels. These are amazing. With the performance wheels, the 21 inch wheels, uh, you get a rough ride. So I went with these 20s from Martian Wheels. They are amazing and I, I love them. So I went with a bronze finish to match the green, which I've actually painted the brake calipers to match. And now if you're looking at this, looks a little weird. Um, but it looks kind of stock. Well, this is a wide body kit. It actually widens the car by three inches and really makes an aggressive stance. Looks really good. I think this looks amazing. Along with that, I have a carbon fiber side skirt, carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber front lip, and the nicest piece is this carbon fiber rear diffuser. This thing looks really nice. That light can integrate as a rain light. I don't have it turned on at this point, but you can actually turn that on if you want to. Also in the back here, I have these, uh, I 3D printed some Tesla logos back here, kind of match the wheels. This is a new tail light that the bar goes all the way across, looks really nice. I've done videos on all these things and I'm gonna have a list of everything down and below and also try to put the price of everything as we go. Cause I'm kind of interested on in how much all this costs. Uh, these. Right down here are actually turn signals as well. I just wrapped them to cover up everything. All the carbon fiber on the outside is gloss, gl is gloss. So I went with a gloss carbon fiber spoiler as well. And if you're wondering, uh, the glass roof was replaced. I went to Tesla and replaced the glass roof. So this is a brand new piece of glass up top because I did crack that about a year ago. It lasted a long time. I was surprised how long it lasted, but I ended up going to Tesla and replacing that. Up front, I have the uh, sequential fog lights as well from Handshow. This camera is actually set up for a different screen that you can have on the inside of the car, uh, and that is from Handshow as well. I guess I'll show you the frunk. It popped the frunk, of course, power frunk. And this is the air ride system that I have in the car. So this is the air tank, and this is the compressor. Uh, all the controls are behind this area here. Uh, what's really cool is, let me show you that. Um, this is the brains for this whole device. So I can actually turn everything off, take the frunk out, and still have pressure in the bags. So that's really nice to have. Also, what I did here was I added a fuse panel for all the extras on this car. So I have a power, and well, there's a 50 amp breaker there, but I also have a, a setup so I can turn off things. Uh, I can just easily take, I easily take things in and out. Uh, add accessories and speaking of power i do have the power doors which is my favorite feature on this car these automatic opening doors uh, it's on for both sides let me show you the passenger side as well all you have to do is you're walking up to it you can push the button uh, push the door handle and it opens right up it's really nice Real, like a model x if you push this button here it'll close super super convenient you can hit a button on the inside you can open up the door for somebody as they're walking up to the car so really really nice so with the air ride i have a button right here this is the controller for it i can hit a button and drop all the air out and it'll go to the ground and there's different presets for this i just have this one set to the bottom uh, and then uh, normal ride height 
it goes up to the normal ride height you can go even higher you can go over curb whatever and then you can barely hear the compressor going really really nice setup there i, I really enjoy that Also in the door, I almost forgot about this. This is kind of like a Rivian R1T or R1S. I adapted a flashlight that goes right inside the door panel. Kind of fun. That was a fun video I did. So on the inside, I have a full carbon steering wheel. Let me sit down in here. I have a full carbon steering wheel. Everything is carbon fiber on this. The inserts, The this is Alcantara with a Tesla logo that's in real carbon fiber i have carbon fiber covers on these as well i have a carbon fiber dash carbon fiber here uh this little screen here i have this is a small screen i have the larger screen that i haven't installed yet but uh, i have this one uh this screen tilts however you want it really you can put it any any direction still rocking the stuck uh chargers for the phones and also i have a charger down here for your apple watch different storage compartments and let me show you the back seat in the back here i've got a screen uh for controls back here usb c ports you can play anything you want on here right down here is a little cubby compartment i'm messing with some things but i have the sexy buttons which is really nice down here uh you plug into the back here and you can program these buttons you saw a button on the screen on the steering wheel there you can program to do those you can program those to do all sorts of stuff my favorite one let me show you my favorite one is this button right here as i'm driving i program this to engage autopilot so i just have to push one button i don't have to pull down twice on this super awesome you could program those to do to open up the glove boxes turn signals a short horn uh open doors all sorts of stuff and yes they're dirty but i i do have the 3d spider floor mats uh for the front the back and the very back uh, i also have these model y kick plates um they actually do light up oh as well as these door handles still i love that feature these door handles you see that white line there those actually can be programmed to light up different colors i have it turned off right now because i don't have them uh, installed back here all the way if you can match them to whatever wrap you had i have them going to green not at this moment but i have those going to green and they looked really really nice oh i also have carbon fiber covering there okay so the wrap the wrap is from vinyl frog this is paris green it's a high high gloss wrap which is really nice this the wrap is over top of ppf so this whole car is uh ppf from expel satin expel so this car is actually gray as you saw in the door jams but uh, on the hood here i have ppf i also have carbon fiber vinyl gloss carbon fiber vinyl which looks really nice and then i i just cut out my logo in a bunch of different ways kind of look like ice in the morning um and then I put the Paris green vinyl over top of that. So this is super protected, extra protected. This is gloss black. I just did over the edge. So it kind of gave that stock appearance, but not so stock, if you follow. Uh, underneath the car, I do have a skid plate from Mountain Pass Performance that protects the front of the battery. I probably am forgetting some things. Uh, minor things, but I'll list those right here. But yeah, this thing is amazing. I almost forgot one of the biggest things is upgraded speaker system. I have a huge upgraded speaker system, subwoofer, doors, tweeters. It sounds so good compared to the stock system. Yes, Tesla makes a good stock system, but this is way better. Trust me. This car has been an amazing car for the last over three years now, three and a half years almost. And I've enjoyed the crap out of this car. It's been a many, many things for me, but um, it's time to go to the next owner. Someone might be interested in the battery. Right now is 138 miles and that is 64%. So you can do the math on that. So I really haven't lost a whole lot of battery life on there. And actually with this lower to the ground and this air uh, and the carbon fiber 
uh, front lip and the rear diffuser, I'm actually getting better range, especially with these 20s on there. Uh, a lot more comfortable ride and better range. I mean, you can't ask for more. So if you're interested in my car, my email is down below. Hit me up if you're interested in the car. I'm asking $45,000 for it, title in hand. It's ready, for, ready to go uh, anywhere in the country. This car is amazing. It's a stunning car. It, it, it turns heads for sure. If you're interested, again, let me know down below. As always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll see ya. Oh, by the way, it's got regular autopilot, not FSD. Who needs FSD when you have something that you can drive like this? Autopilot works just fine, by the way. You don't need FSD.